हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सोल्यूशन कोड whatever we get here file name is equal to dollar underscore files the name which we entered in our form will come in the first as a per first parameter which is nothing but file to upload will come here and we want name so it's name okay we'll just copy it because we want to do this file temporary name file tmp so this is like tmp underscore name another thing what we need is file size so this would be size another thing what we are going to need is file base name base name would be the same as this just we have to write this thing the name inside this function okay now we will just uh, try to echo around some things echo this file name first whatever name we are getting here choose a file percent the num and click on submit so we get the name okay get the name now where we are going to store things this would be our directory okay and we have a directory created like upload okay this is our directory now this is our final directory final directory would be final directory would be directory and the base name okay file this thing the base name of it with dollar so final directory if you echo around and try to see what is it you can see this when you click on submit your name is this and the file will be uploaded into this upload slash this okay now we have all these things now what we can do is we'll just write more uploaded files and for this we need temporary file file underscore temp no oh, whatever the variable we have set this comma where you want to upload it where you want to move it you have to move it into final directory now all this thing we have to check if this is set if is set dollar underscore post when the button is click we have given the name to our button 
which is submit and inside this we are going to place all the stuff we no need to echo around the things now let's see whether the file is moved or not let's choose lighthouse and hit on submit it throws no errors so we can do one thing we can check whether okay mm, we have to go to HD docs inside this uploads yes you can see that the image has been moved to this now we have to insert these values inside our database so now we will write the code for inserting into DB okay now what are we going to insert it what are the things we are going to insert in the database that we have already discussed here we are going to insert the image name and image path so um, the benefit of uploading inserting the image path is now for example you write you wherever you want to retrieve it you write as image source is equal to upload slash xyz dot png or jpg whatever so this retrieves this retrieves image from upload folders named xyz and uh, displays into your browser correct so we have this path stored in the database and we have to just retrieve this thing from the database and we'll use the image tag so it will show as the image so this is the best way to to retrieve image from the database another way is to store the entire image in the form of a blob this uh, that will uh, that will be using lots of space and requires large amount of time to execute the script now what we are going to do is we have we have the image name we have our image name image name is inside this file underscore base name correct we are going to store this as well as the final path where the image is going to be moved that is inside this final directory okay so we are going to upload this two things so just we have to write mysqli underscore query and before doing that we have to connect to our database so okay just let me write a script for connecting into the database let's save it as connect dot php and here we'll be writing the connect code for that we need host we need username we need password and we need database name to which we have to connect correct so we have the host name as local host we have username as root and as we are using the local server XAMPP and I haven't changed any setting so password is blank and the database name what we have said is IMG this is our database okay 
now how to connect so mysql i underscore connect and we have to pass this parameters host second thing is username password and database name or die with displaying that error occurred while connecting let's see if it's running well or not connect dot php yes no error message has been displayed that means we have successfully connected to our database Thank you.